Hello, welcome to nbanner.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to implement tree map using C or C++. So let's get started. This is an example of tree map. So each node has left node and then the right node. So all lower value should be on the left side of the node and the higher value should be on the right side of the node. So let's take for example this one. This node has a one value. So since this node is lower than the parent node, so it has to be on the left side of the node. And five. Five still lower than the parent value, so it has to be on the left side, but higher than the 1, so it has to be on the right side. Same thing for 3. 3 is still the lowest value compared to the parent, but 3 is the higher value than 1, so it should be on the right, but no lower value than the number 5, so it should be on the left. So the same thing applies to 9, 7, 8, 21, 15, 25. In this code, um, I'm using structure here. So um, I have left tree map and then the right tree map. So, so we're going to use the left tree map to store all the lowest value and the right should be the, the highest value. And we have to declare global variable as a parent. And this is an example of um, a recursive function. So when you enter in this function, if the node is null, then you have to create a tree map and then assign null to the left and then the right and then assign value of that node. And if the value is higher, yes, if the value is higher than the parent node or the current node, then you go to the right side. Same thing, if it is less than, then you have to go to the left side. So same approach. So when you call this recursive function, when you exit, you have to return the node and assign it to the right side of the current node. Okay. Now, display function. Display function will display the value or the display the, the node of the tree map in ascending order. You can print the, the value of this tree map by ascending order. All you need to do is just switch this um, function so you should call the right node first and then after that display and then call the display node that will print descending order now display display will call only the uh, display this is also a recursive function and then the next function is add add calls the recursive function here, this one. Okay. And then destroy, it will delete all or free all the allocated uh, memory of the tree map. And then you have to uh, go through the left node and then free all the allocated node and then after that go to the right side of the node. And then get leftmost node. I'm going to explain to you how this function works. So what it does, it will try to get the left node where there is no left reference or the right reference. Delete node. Delete node will delete the, the node and um, after deleting the node, we need to maintain the structure of the tree map. So it has to be in the same manner, like all 
lower value should be on the left and the higher higher value should be on the right side. So this is an example of the code. Now delete node. Now the delete node we will try to call the uh, delete node recursive function. I will explain it. So this is the delete um, um, delete, delete node. This this is a recursive function. And then destroy it will call the recursive function destroy. Okay. So here I have the call add six nine one five seven three. 21, 55, 15. If you use this, this if you use this code, it will produce exactly the same like this. Okay, so six and then nine should be on the right side, and then one should be on the left side. And five should be on the right side of the one node, so on and so forth. Okay. Now I'm going to delete the node number nine. Okay. So we're going to delete the node number nine. So after we delete this nine, we have to maintain the the tree map um, we have to maintain the tree map so all the left all the lowest value should be on the left side and the right left side should be the higher value okay so I want to delete this 9 and then what's gonna happen is like um, this is the function that we need to use exactly the same from what I have implemented here this delete node okay okay let's debug the the structure I want to delete number 9 okay so 9 is it is 9 is equal to the parent node mm, it's not and then it's it's greater than the 6 so we have to go to the right side of the node okay so now we are in the 9 node so 9 is equals to 9 yes so now this is the candidate okay then we need to delete this node so what you can do is like um first you have to store to, to the temporary variable the right side of this node same thing for the left side of this node okay then you can free then after you free check the right side of the node if it's not equal okay if this right side of the node is not equal then find the left most node of this right so what is the left leftmost node of this um, uh, 21 so it should be 15 so all you need to do is return the 15 return this node so we call it last node so if last node is not equal to null okay if the last node is so if the last node doesn't have left reference it's null reference and then the right side is also a null reference okay so once you get this last node okay get the left and assign the left node so this is actually the left node this is the left node and then in this last node this is the left node then we need to um, assign this left node to the to the left side of the 15th node 
okay so after that since we 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 keep the right side of this node then all you need to do is return it return the value from the function so let's check the code so in this delete node okay you return this node the 21 so after you return it after you return it then for example okay the right side is the the right side of this node is the 9 so after you delete inside this delete node assign it back to the right side of the node so what's gonna happen is like um okay so the, this is the left side the left most of the node okay mm. so after that it, the structures will be look like this one this is the left left most and all the values still in the and the left and the left side of this particular node so go back to the function okay in this parent node okay you check that the right side is the ninth node so so since this nine node is deleted okay and then this is the right side you have to return this node to the right side of this parent node so it will be you know look like six node is connected now to 12 and then this this um 15 node the left node is connected to 7 so that is what happened when you delete the the ninth node using this function okay so let's try to run the function so let's try to run the function without deleting the number 9 This this tree map will create ascending order 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 15, 15, 15. Now if you want to do descending order what you need to do is reverse this or switch the location of this two function. Okay, now it's 21, 25, 21, 59, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 1. So if I delete 9 in descending order, so now it's 25, 21, 15, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 1. Uh, let's try to delete more. So in this structure, I want to delete line uh, five. Okay, so twenty five. So five and nine are gone. Okay. In terms of searching, tree map is much faster than linked list because linked list you have to go through all the um, node. So, for example, I want to search seven. So, in using tree map, I can check only three nodes. Okay, seven is is equals to 6 not but it's greater than 6 so I have to go to the right side of the node 7 is equals to 9 no but it is less than the number 9 then I have to go to number I have to go to the left side of the node so 7 is equal to 7 yes so, I will so how many nodes I I check 1 2 3 before I get the the node to be deleted 
Now compare the link list. So let's say for example in link list it will save it will it will save like six nine one five seven three eighteen twenty five fifteen. Now if I'm going to search the value or if I want to search the node using link list, so what happens like I have to check first six. So seven is the same? No. Then I have to go to the second node. Seven is equals to nine? No. Then I have to go to the, the next node. Seven is equals to one? No. Then I have to go to the next node. And so on and so forth until I find until you find the node. So how many nodes did you go through? One, two, three, four, five before you get the node to be deleted. Okay, thank you for watching my video and bye for now.